For the large grid, which will serve as our reference or ideal simulation, we want to make sure we don't see any reflections from the right edge of the grid over the time span of interest at our observation point. Over the 2000 time steps of our simulation, n max equals 2000, the wave will propagate 2000, this is time steps, times dt will give us seconds, all that together. So if we multiply that times c meters per second, we get meters, and then we can divide by delta to get grid cells. So we get that the wave will propagate, can propagate at the speed of light, 1,273 grid cells in 2,000 time steps. Since we already have 140 grid cells between the transmitter and the observation point, so this is 140 cells, then we're left with needing 1,133, because that's 1,273 minus 140, we get 1,133 cells to the length of our grid to limit any reflections from the right side. But then, because there is a round trip propagation distance from the observation point to the right edge of the bigger grid and then back again to our observation point, then we only actually need to add half of this half of this number of cells to our grid. So the large IMAX, for our large grid, the IMAX needs to be 140 plus 1,133 divided by 2. We get about 707 grid cells. In order to make it large enough to not see any reflections over the time span of interest. Let's add on some extra cells because the right edge of the large grid also has PML. So let's just go ahead and make this equal to 750. So this is what we are going to implement. And now we can rerun the model. So that change, and also don't forget to change how you're saving the observation data. So for example, we can have save easy ops, perhaps save it to a different file name with large in it or reference. We're going to save the observation data in ASCII format again. Now you can also create an error plot at the end of your code. Plot on a log scale the error between the small and the large grids in the same way that we calculated and plotted the error in the one-dimensional PML test. And for plotting you can use the semi log y command just as we did before.